Hey guys, it's Helen here and today I have for you guys a really exciting unboxing for the 12 days of Christmas. These are the Squeezables and this is the Peel to Reveal box. It includes six exclusive characters and you guys already know I do love me some Squeezables. We started off 12 days of Christmas with some Christmassy themed squeezables, the little tiny ones. I believe there are two sizes of squeezables in this particular box because it says, let's see, it says six exclusive characters, peel and reveal, who will you get? <laughs> let's see, it says five stage reveal packs with three by three and a half inch and three by one and a half inch plush character selections vary. All right, so I'm totally down with this. I am very much looking forward to opening this. I only found this one box at my Target store. I guess they're gonna be a really popular toy this year. I'm not surprised, because Squeezimals are adorable. If you don't know what Squeezimals are, they are these little cute little plushy squishies. So on the inside of these are like a little foam and on the outside is just this plushy cover <laughs> with this adorable likeness in this particular case of a cute little sloth. This one's name is Simon the Sloth. He's the first Squeezable I ever picked up. He is super cute. I love the embroidery. They just look so stinking cute. They are so adorable and they are squishy and fuzzy and all the things that make squishies fun. This is extra fun because it is plushy <laughs> on the outside. Super, 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 super cute. So I'm excited to open that box with the two different sizes in it. And for the exclusives, these you can get outside the box and there are a whole bunch you can get. This is from a much earlier series, so not sure if they're still available, but he is perfume scented. I've had him for such a long time and kind of like out that he doesn't really smell much of anything anymore. It's usually like right at the beginning when you first open them, you can definitely get that scent, but it does wear off after a while. So if you're sensitive to the smells, don't worry. It does dissipate after some time, but you're still left with this adorable, cute, squishy adorableness. Adorable is the word of the day. Yay! <laughs> so let's go ahead and get this box open because I'm super excited. Again, I found these at Target. Or I should say I found this one at Target. I do believe they also sell them online at Target at this point. The holidays are right around the corner. So I'm not sure if Target has some kind of special offers with shipping. But anyway, let's take a look at the ones we can get. Let's see. Introducing, introducing <laughs> the newest, cutest members of the Squeezimals family, including our new one and a half inch Squeezimals revealed to you in the most appealing way. <laughs> Will you get? Oh my god, I love the play on words. Apparently, these are the grape scented, just like the Christmas ones I opened up earlier, which are the one and a half inch. And the smell is just like, it, it reminds me of Diamond Tap. I'm not even gonna like sugar-coated at all but anyway here are the small one and a half inch ones we can let collect wow language skills are not happening today so you have this little hedgehog a puppy a little unicorn a penguin a narwhal a cute little red and white panda looks like the little piggy we got a christmas piggy and a christmas penguin when we opened up the christmas themed ones i want to get this little baby sloth to go with Simon <laughs> and this one I'm not sure what it is maybe it's just like a cat perhaps and then the three and a half inch looks like a fuzzy multicolored kitty another Norwal, a unicorn a pug the frog so cute this little fluffy and let's see an elephant maybe a giraffe that looks like a giraffe another little hedgehog oh a sloth I want all the sloths. <laughs> a fluff ball. I guess that's a turtle, maybe? That other one? Or a ladybug? I'm not sure. And then it looks like a hedgehog with a horn on it. <laughs> and a bumblebee. So I'm hoping we get all sloths. I got a thing for sloths. It's okay, but I'll be really happy just to see what we get because I've been dying to open this. 
So let's go ahead. I'm not sure how this is going to work in this angle, but we're going to make it work. That's all I'm going to say. We're going to make it work. All right. I'm not sure if this was already open, by the way. There was one box, so I was a little bit suspicious. But what can you do? Hopefully it hasn't been opened. But let's get this thing out of here. Ooh. Has this nice little outside cardboard box, which is nice because it probably, hopefully, in some way, prevents people from opening up in the store. Looks like we have a checklist, a collector's guide. Let me get rid of this big box. Let's take a look at the collector's guide, even though we already saw who we can get. But, ooh, okay, these pictures are much better. And you could check it off. How cute. I was right. It is a hedgehog. The cat. Okay, I was right. Ooh. I'm pretty good. I could figure out who they all are. Oh, it's a turtle. Okay, so I mean, I wasn't perfect on that, but it's a little fluff ball. Oh, it's a red panda. Oh, I thought it was just like a fluffy kitty. Whoops. Okay. <laughs> anyway, guys, these are all the ones you can get close up, get a better idea. And they all have their own cute little names, which I think is adorable. Monty the Sloth. What's the other sloth's name? Taylor. <laughs> That's so cute. All right. We're going to keep that handy because, you know, we all know I'm not going to remember any of their names. So here's what the box looks like. This looks really fun. Do we peel it here? I guess so. It looks like you could just take the cover off of it, to be honest. But I guess that kind of ruins the fun. So let's go ahead and peel to reveal. Let's see... I'm excited. Oh, this is so fun. Oh, look! <laughs> we have a frog and he's metallic -y. Oh my gosh. Look at him. This one is Fred the Frog. <laughs> he looks like he belongs at a disco. I'm just saying. But look at his, or like a rave. I could totally picture him at a rave. He's just like. He needs some glow sticks. <laughs> but look how cute he is. He's this metallic. He's not fuzzy, which is okay. I do like the metallic. I don't think I've ever seen a metallic one like this before. So that's really cute. I actually really like him. He does make this funny, like, crunching noise. <laughs> I love his eyebrows. He just looks like he's in just complete bliss. So let's give him a good squishing and see how he puffs back up you can't really see him can you he's growing <laughs> he's so cute all right so that was our first one and let's see look how cute i love how they how do you do how cute peekaboo all right come on sloths Let's try to peel this later without breaking it. Apparently I'm good at that. I love how these open. Oh my god, look at this little baby one. These are, oh, these are even smaller than the ones we opened in the Christmas theme video. Look how tiny. Oh my god. This one is Jack the Panda. He's so cute. He's so itty bitty. I'll do a size comparison between this teeny weeny little mini one, the regular size, and also the size we got from the little Christmas mystery ones because now they come in three different sizes. Look how tiny. He's so tiny. He's just as squishy, but he's a little bit faster rising because... He's so small. <laughs> He's so cute. Does he sit on top of him? Yes. Okay, good. All right, let's see who else we can get. I don't know what just fell. Something fell. <laughs> let's get the next layer open. Small but perfectly formed. Oh, what could be next? I'm not sure. Hopefully a sloth. It's a bumblebee. Come on, there's got to be a slow. Oh, ooh, this one has little shimmers on him. 
like the little frog's tummy. This one is actually like really chunky. <laughs> so we have the little bumblebee. His name is Yance. Yance the bee. <laughs> With his little antenna. He's so cute. And there's like so much to focus on. The camera's going a little nuts. It is not focusing on the bee. <laughs> there we go. He just needs to buzz around. And then it'll focus on him. <laughs> Oh, he's so cute. I love the different fabrics that they use on him. And I love his little squishiness. So here's Yans. I love this. That's so cute. I really hope we get a sloth. Three is a magic number. I'm going to take your word for it. He's really slow rising. <laughs> He's really surprising, but he's super cute. Yes, it is. All right, let's see. Where can we put him? It's like we're running out of little room here. All right, let's see. Come on, keep our fingers crossed for sloth. I want to see the sloths, guys. Oh my god. Look, you got two. Yes, we did. Look at these little tiny ones. These are so teensy, weensy. They are so cute. Oh, We got our little penguins from our first video. His little brother, his little sister. How cute. These are so cute. His name is Alex. <laughs> he is adorable. He's like the size of... A munchkin. <laughs> In case you were wondering, like a Dunkin' Donut munchkin, <laughs> he's bite size. Don't eat him. But that's the kind of size he reminds me of. Is like a little munchkin. <laughs> he's so cute. So there's Alex. I'm not sure how many did we get so far. We have five. Oh no! I think that's it. I think these were the last two. Okay. He's just going to have to hang out there. And the other one is the little piggy. Look how cute. If it'll focus on him because there's too much going on. Oh, these are so cute. I noticed the little baby ones don't have like the little star in their eye. I guess because their eyeballs are just a little too tiny. So this is Paulina the pig. That's so cute. We definitely got her older sibling in an earlier video this past 12 days of Christmas but look how cute they are these are so cute guys <laughs> let's see I think that's it I think that's everyone let me just say oh, well, it says peel to reveal so let's see yay bonus <gasps> we got a sloth just when I had given up hope come on out Finally, phew. Look how cute this one's Taylor the Sloth. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. I wish we would have gotten Monty too, but we got at least one of the sloths and she's really cute. They do, oh my goodness, they too totally smell like Dimatap. Oh my gosh. But these don't smell as strongly as the first ones we opened, like the Christmas-themed ones. <laughs> Thank goodness. Oh, my goodness. It totally smells like Dimatap and great medicine. <laughs> I can't get over that. I'm not going to get over it ever. <laughs> so we finished off with a sloth. I'm so happy. I'm so happy we got the sloth, little Taylor. Again, I would have loved to have seen the little mini baby Monty sloth because I'm a little bit obsessed, but we got one. I'm super, super, super happy we got at least one of the two sloths that we could get. <laughs> All right, let me get rid of the box, line these guys up, and let's do a little size comparison and pick favorites. Hey guys! Okay, so we have everyone all bunched up together in their cute little adorableness. 
I don't know how else to put it, but they are so cute. I'm so tempted to go out and get another box of these, but I have seen other people open them and see them get duplicate after duplicate of the same box, and I'm like, oh no, do I really want to do this to myself? I don't know, maybe after the 12 days of Christmas are over, things will calm down and I'll be able to find another box of these and hopefully we can find little tiny little teeny baby little munchkin Monty to go with our tailor and of course my little sign in here <laughs> but I guess it's gonna be hard for me to pick one out of the six so let's do one favorite out of each category so out of the big ones I think my obvious favorite is has to be Taylor the sloth I have my preferences what can I tell you out of the little tiny little baby ones I gotta say it's a toss-up between <laughs> it's a toss-up between Paulina the pig and Alex the penguin. I think it's Alex the penguin just by like a tiny little hair, honestly. <laughs> but very tiny. Very, very, very tiny. Now, let me just bring in the other ones from a previous video just so I can show you guys that they're actually a different size. So I thought this is what the small ones were going to be like. But this is actually like a medium in-between size. So you can see like... They're tweeting, how cute. <laughs> these are definitely much bigger than these. <laughs> but they are super cute. Look how cute they look together. Oh, it's like big sister and little brother. Super cute. I love that. And of course, since I have the piggy from the previous opening, I might as well show them together. I mean, come on. How adorable are these? They're so cute, whether you want to display them, or you just want to like collect them or play with them. They are a toy meant to be played with and squished and loved and just enjoyed. So anyway guys, thanks again so much for watching and sticking with me through these 12 days of Christmas. I had a lot of fun with it. And maybe we'll see another box of these mystery squeezable boxes in the future. Again, found them at Target. Good luck. It's a crazy out there. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. Let me know down in the comments which one is your favorite out of these that we got today. And happy hunting and good luck. I'll see you guys in another video really soon. Bye.